Wilson. We're going to continue our chapter of gross pay and talk about how to calculate how to calculate overtime pay. So some words we're going to talk about and discuss are overtime pay, time and a half, and double time, which are just different ways to get paid overtime. All right, so our overtime pay, and you'll want to put this in your notebook, is pay that you receive at a higher rate than your normal rate. So when you get paid a straight time fee, that straight time fee is an hourly rate. So maybe you get paid $10 an hour for two hours. At the end of the day, you would be paid $20. Now, for overtime, that means that you're going to be paid a higher rate if you go over specific hours. Now, everybody's jobs that has the opportunity to get overtime pay will be given different roles. So two very common roles to pay overtime is to either get paid time and a half. That means that you would take whatever your rate is times one and a half your normal rate or double time. Now these aren't the only ways to calculate overtime pay, but these are your common pays. So double time would be that you would take whatever your hourly rate is and multiply that by two. All right, so the lesson formula that we're gonna to use today is gonna to look very similar to straight time pay, except that we're going to have to figure out what that overtime rate is. So we're going to take that overtime rate. So if you get paid $10 an hour at double time, you would double that $10 and make that $20 an hour and then multiply it by the overtime hours worked. Once you calculate what your overtime pay is, then we're going to need to find that total pay or also known as the gross pay. By taking the straight time pay, that's the, all of the hours that you worked at regular, at your regular rate, and then add in to the mix your overtime pay. So you're not going to get overtime pay for all of your hours, just the number of hours that exceed that straight time baseline. So let's look at our first example. So it says, Andy makes $8.50 an hour stocking shelves at a local grocery store up to 35 hours a week. So that is his maximum hours that he gets paid in straight pay time. Anything after 35 hours, he gets paid time and a half. So that's his overtime rate. Now, last week, Andy worked 42 hours. What was his gross pay for the week? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the straight time. So this comes from lesson 1-1, one, one, and his straight time pay is going to equal his $8.50 he makes per hour times the first 35 hours of his week. So when I multiply those together, I get a straight time pay of $297.50. All right, now I'm going to figure out his overtime. So his overtime, he still gets paid $850, except he gets one and a half times that rate. So I'm going to take that one and $850 times one and a half. And then I'm going to multiply that by the numbers that he's over. So if his 30, first 35 hours went to straight time pay, if I simply take 42 minus 35, that means that seven of his hours are overtime. So I'm going to take that $8.50 times one and a half. That's going to give me a pay rate or give Andy a pay rate of $12.75. And then we're going to multiply it by the seven overtime hours for a total of $89.25 for his overtime pay. So last thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate his gross pay. So we're going to take his total straight time pay and add that to his overtime pay for a total of 
$386.75. That's his gross. So that would be his pay before any taxes are taken out. All right, for our second example, we're going to use the same out the same systems, but you're going to see an algebra component added in. So in this scenario, it says Michael is a telemarketer with a teletech company. He is paid $12 an hour for a regular 40 hour a week. So that's his straight time pay. That's his maximum number of hours and his rate is $12. His overtime is one and a half again times his regular hourly rate. It says this past week, so his overtime is one and a half. This past week, Michael earned $624 in gross pay. How many hours of overtime did he work? So what we, what we know this time is we know the answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what he worked all together. So remember that in the last problem, we had to take our gross pay and set it equal to the straight time pay plus the overtime. But this time our overtime is the number of hours we're missing. What we do know is that his gross is $624. We also know that he worked $12 an hour for 40 hours. So we know how to calculate his straight time. What we also know is how to calculate his overtime rate because he gets paid one and a half times that $12. What is missing, however, is how many of these hours that he actually worked overtime. So this is the missing component. So a little bit of algebra in here. I'm going to simplify a couple of these math problems. I'm going to do the 12 times 40 first, and that gives me $480, and that's a straight time pay. Then I'm going to take that 12 times 1 and a half, which means that he makes $18 an hour when he works overtime, all for a total of 624. Now you'll remember from algebra, we have a quick two-step equation where we're going to subtract to get rid of that 480. And that's going to leave me with $144 to be our total overtime. At $18 an hour, I'm going to divide that by 18. And that's going to be that H is equal to 8 and I'm gonna label that so we know what that eight stands for. That's eight overtime hours. All right, I will add your assignment onto Google Classroom to do problems that look like these and practice the ideas of straight time pay and overtime pay.